the People's Coalition government is what they're calling themselves, and they're moving very fast. Days into getting into power, they instituted a new minimum wage, restored the, un the employment age rather to 60, appointed new boards, and even had the time for a state visit to the island nation of Kiribati, all within a month of being in power. Lithe, some of the appointments have been criticised by the former government, now opposition. That's right. Um, at the beginning of their leadership, the Rumbuka government did invite the public, telling everyone they could put their hands up to be on the boards of statutory bodies, giving deadline of the 31st of January, but just days after doing that, there was a press conference announcing a new board and chair of the state broadcaster, the Fiji uh, Broadcasting Television, which of course is controversial because it is headed by the brother of the former Attorney General. The investigation into the former Attorney General continues. Can you tell us a bit more about that? That's right. The former Attorney General Ayaz Syed Kayyum does face an investigation over complaints made by the opposition parties in that period, right after the polls, just before the swearing in of a new government, alleging uh, community antagonism, alleging incitement of violence. And so he is currently under investigation, having faced a couple of days of lengthy questioning by the criminal investigation investigations department. Mohamed Sanim, the supervisor of elections, now on suspension on full pay, will himself face a tribunal to answer to charges of misbehavior during the December 14 elections, Yvonne. So tell us a bit more about the election supervisor then who has been suspended following a complaint. That's right. Um, Mohammed Sanim is on leave and will have to explain himself in front of a tribunal um, to charges being made by the opposition parties, uh, now the government parties, um, that he had irregular behaviour or misbehaved during the December elections, Yvonne. Lifei Monovo, thank you so much.